мене звати Антон Целюрик, я директор фонду 69 Sniffing Brigade. І це саме той фонд, який завез вже 161 автівку разом з цими пікапами. І ми це робимо вже з березня минулого року. Це 14-й конвой. І це все тільки через всіх тих людей, хто стоїть там. Це іностранці, іноземці разом з Рагнером Сасом, котрі е, донетять свої гроші, які привозять сюди автівки прямо до України, робили це з перших місяців війни. І це перший раз, коли ми зробили передачу автівок 14 бригадам саме в Витачеві, щоб показати їм, наскільки Україна прекрасна. І ми не хотіли, знаєте, їм показувати тільки там Гостомель, куди ми їх повеземо, наприклад, або Бучу. Цього разу ми вирішили їм показати, за що українці воюють, за що вони вмирають. І це не зруйновані росіянами міста. Це прекрасна природа, це люди, які нас оточують. І це саме те, що змусило, змусило цих людей приїхати сюди. Today was convoy number 14. And yeah, we, we was giving this course to the units and as you can see, they are going now to the front line. So here we had today uh, many different brigades like Kraken, like Hospitaliers, like uh, 92nd Brigade, Code 92. So every car is actually given to the different military units. They are using it for different uh, ways. Some units need it for the evacuation, like Hospitaliers and 92nd Brigade. Some brigades use it for the, exactly, um, for the um, intelligence, to move the car in, to, uh, to fly the drone, to gather information and go back to the unit. So this is basically how they are using it and this is what, what say, the brigades are using it. So it's a 152 shell, and that's an ashtray made from the. No, what? On, on, on. I didn't ask my wife to go for it. I think it's the the understanding, and that's the unfortunate event which um, has now uh, basically started from Ukraine. Uh, but I think there's the overall like longer plan uh, which uh, our eastern neighbor has started uh, throughout Europe. So we feel as much that this is our war as it is yours. It's just being fought on your soil, and so we here, especially and then back in our country, there's tremendous support for Ukraine because we understand what you're fighting for. This is essentially for democracy and for freedom. And, and it was not that long ago when Estonia was in the same position. And uh, essentially, I hope that whatever we do here, it would be the same situation, that you would help us out in the same given situation. Hello, my name is Ivan. Uh, we are from the Traitor's Third Battalion uh, from... We were here exactly a year ago, uh, when uh, still the tanks, uh, tanks were at, uh, in Kiev, uh, but we then drove the car convoy to Lviv, and, and even though that actually at the same day something blew up in Lviv, like it was, for us it was just uh, like a moral standpoint to do something more rather than watch all the news uh, from Twitter and then uh, essentially like, like uh, our let's say, understanding or emphasis for the situation, you just couldn't stand still. And so I think most active or extroverted people are, are here and supporting in any which way. So, so people back at home, they're, they're supporting with money, with products, with all other goods. So it doesn't really matter if it's a generator or a car or, or whatnot, just people want to help. 
And so I, I think like this is what we're encapsulating all here, that uh, this is the support in however way we can. So this is a small, uh, let's say, uh, moral part from our side, but we really feel that this is something which we can really do uh, help and emphasize on that. It, so it, it wouldn't be such a, as a distant that we are just uh, basically with Ukraine, but we want to show it as well uh, in our sense. It, it's a really nice surprise because I've only been to Kiev and Lviv and then to see basically the outskirts as well and this beautiful nature. So I definitely want to visit, uh, let's say, like uh, throughout Ukraine uh, more. Like So uh, thank you for inviting us to this, let's say, sacred place uh, here. So, so we as Estonians, we have a lot of, uh, let's say, sacred places ourselves as organized religion is not that popular, but especially these places which you can feel the magic. And I think this is, this is very special. Today we saw here people from eight countries. So uh, Estonia and Latvia and Litva always are pushing, but people in, uh, in, in our convoy, the biggest support by money is from US, but also people from Germany say helping because they feel government have done not enough. So it's opposite. People understand it's a long war. We need to be ready to support it ongoingly, um, smarter way. So it's, uh, this is our war, like you cannot we will not be tired before we finish here. Хочем подякувати їм. Хочу подякувати від цього підрозділу Кракен за ту допомогу, яку вони нам оказують з перших днів цієї війни. От, велика подяка. Це наші друзі. От, і я так вважаю, що вони і в дальнішому будуть нам допомагати в цьому. Ну а ми будемо робити свою справу, бити ворога. Так що слава Україні, героям слава. Ця машина буде виконувати задачі по евакуації поранених, по перевезенню боєкомплектів та евакуації людей на місцях. Тобто ці машини нам зараз конче необхідні для того, щоб ефективно виконувати нашу роботу. Take care. А, а. Машини, на жаль, закінчуються дуже швидко, і ми робимо все для того, щоб забезпечити наших солдат е, свою часну евакуацію. Ми використовуємо камери, коли ми переміщуємося вночі, бо в день переміщення між позиціями та безпосередньо на фронті воно є дуже небезпечно. Ми ставимо камери, ставимо їх на капот автівки, виводимо зображення на екран, який знаходиться в салоні, і таким чином без фар дістаємося позиції. Це більш безпечно. Wagner is our closest friends. <laughs> yeah, I want to say, hey, Wagner, hey, guys, uh, we meet you at next week. <laughs> was the wall protecting from the invaders. Huh? So the SMS goes like 10 minutes only because you are not in a, in a place which... Yeah. Yeah.